uh, Capitol Hill in an apartment and Sandy got kicked out because she had a wild party, so I had to move too. <laughs> I'd only been there three months. <laughs> and then and then we moved to a houseboat on Lake Union with Mary Pat, who Sandy called Mary Poop. And she was also from Blanchette. And the three of us lived in a houseboat looking straight out to the Space Needle. And then um, Sandy and I lived in a house in Woodland Park, uh, on Woodland Park Avenue in Wallingford, which was a great house. We had a wild, crazy guy across the street who'd get drunk and shoot his rifle up at <laughs> our window and yell, yell for us to come out. <laughs> and we were working at Northwest Hospital then, so that was quite an adventure. Uh, we took a trip to San Felipe, Mexico in my car, drove down, that's when there was nobody down there, a totally uninhabited beach, and all we had was canned peaches and, and beer, and we ran out of liquid, and, and the two guys we were with said they'd stay on the beach, and they almost died of heat exposure. They built a little lean-to out of their bedspread, and we went in town to get water, and it took us three hours to get back, and they were almost dead. <laughs> and then we brought back this big thing of water that the town gave us out of pity, and they showed us where they had their brand new desalination plant that brought water in from the ocean and purified, and right next to it, they had a pipe bringing the sewer out. <laughs> anyway, I, I looked up San Felipe, it's all built up, but there was nothing in there but a store and a gas station. Anyway, I was a bridesmaid in Sandy's wedding in Aspen, Aww. and then Sandy traveled to India. This was actually before she got married. And she took the Orient Express from Paris and met me in Istanbul. Wow, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a lot of adventures in Istanbul. And we traveled on several trips to Italy, Greece, and uh, uh, the island of Corfu, where we rented uh, these mopeds and drove all over the island. And then she came to Dubrovnik to meet my relatives and also went out with me to the island of Korchula, where my other family members lived, and they absolutely loved her. They gave her wine and Turkish coffee all day long. <laughs> and then, let's see, I visited her when she lived in Whitefish, Montana. And then we remained in touch when she lived in, was it Startup or was it, what was the other town that was, what, that she lived in? Startup. Startup, uh, start, start up or Sultan. Yeah, Sultan. <clears throat> Sultan. Yeah, and then when she moved to Phoenix, uh, Daryl and I visited her in Glendale and Peoria and went to the baseball game at the Peoria station. But then when she was sick and in the hospital, Daryl and I went down and saw yeah. her. Yeah. And, and then um, I visited her when she was back in her house in her retirement village. And she was so happy there with her friends and her little dog. She was a friend for life. She was always in touch over the years to help me during our parents' illnesses and deaths, and she supported me during my husband's illness and Louis body disease and his death. Sandy was a free spirit, loving and a true friend. She had deep faith and watched Sunday Mass on TV even during COVID. She took care of her aging neighbors. I remember I'd call her and she was taking in all their garbage cans. And, and they're younger than her. <laughs> <laughs> sweeping their walks. Um, she took in abandoned cats and dogs whose owners couldn't keep them anymore. She showed her love for friends in many ways. So I found this really neat little saying on uh, my niece Heidi just posted it. And it's called, Time Will Tell. This is about friends. You will have people walk into your life and you will love them, but they will never quite understand what makes you, well, you. Then you will have people walk into your life and even in the silence, they will always know what you need. These are not just people, these are pieces of your soul returning to you. Sandra was one of those rare people. Farewell, dear friend. And then I've got a little poem at the end for her. Alone I will not be, my comfort will come from the sea. The stillness of calm waves will drift by, I will be as one with the sea. And when the sun sets on the ocean blue, remember me as I will always remember you. As the sun rises, go live life as full as can be, apart you and me, 
but at peace, for I am free. Oh, that's so good. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Really nice, Nancy. That brought tears to my eyes. Yes. <laughs> You're not alone. Yeah. yeah. I love all the stories he had with her. Yeah. Oh, we yeah. had some crazy, that's that's so wonderful great. times. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling how we thought we had these great uh, his, uh, dresses that we bought in the Istanbul market. They were long, really pretty white, with all embroidered. We wore them all over town, went out and rowboat, almost got killed by a freighter that almost hit us. <laughs> we were, when we came back, the people we stayed with told us we were wearing nightgowns all over Istanbul. <laughs> <laughs>